Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, the wind already picking up uh, here on the island here. And uh, while I wouldn't yes, call it a ghost town, uh, Martha's Vineyard is definitely much quieter than it should be on a Saturday in August. People have been scrambling for the last three days to get off the island. The last ferry has left the island for the evening, and now, for those who remain here, it is time to hunker down much and wait for night, Irene. Time surf at South Beach on Martha's Vineyard, kicking up higher and higher. Oh, like, oh, Irene is on her way. We've been out for nor'easters. Hey! We've been out here for this kind of a storm, and the power of it is amazing. Around the island, people are boarding up and battening down. Even the black dog is getting out of the rain. Vacationers are rushing to get off the island, cutting their visits short. Hey, you did just made it to the stand oh, just now. We <laughs> had to go around a few times. Oh, we're God, having a great you time here. That. President said uh, it's time to go, so we gotta go. But there's no reason for Janet Goochman and her family to rush back home. They're from New York City, where Irene is already paying a visit. And you're gonna hunker down, huh? Oh, we are, yeah. LA, it's gonna be worse than New York City, so we're not going back there. For island businesses, the exodus is not good news. And you see all these people leaving the island, how does that make you feel? Scared. You know, I don't like that. <laughs> it's, it's right before a big weekend. I mean, this is the end of the summer. It should be packed here, and it's deserted. That's Emergency shelters ready to go at local schools. Island officials say their biggest concern isn't the water, but the wind. Trees down, blocking roads, um, w yeah, wires down, electricity out. Uh, where we're located, the flooding area or water surge is not an issue because it's a south wind that blows it away from us. Okay. As we said, the last ferry has left the island for the evening, and the Steamship Authority has announced that ferry service to and from the island has been suspended for tomorrow. Regular service is expected to resume on Monday. Live from Martha's Vineyard, I'm Byron Barnett, 7 News 19. Well, if things get bad enough, emergency evacuation plans are in effect for high-risk areas like Cape Cod. Phase 1 will shut down Cape Access on the Bourne and Sagamore bridges. It will only be open, though, for drivers leaving the Cape. And police are also limiting access at exits along the Cape Cod Canal. Now, if winds reach 70 miles per hour, Phase 2 of this plan goes into effect, and that shuts down the bridges to all traffic. Route 6 will be closed at Exit 2. Route 28 will be shut down at the Otis Road. Rotary. 19's Victoria Block is in Falmouth tonight with a look at how people are preparing for the big storm.